Okay, if we're going to draw the Lewis structure for water, the first thing we have to do is add up the valence electrons. Water has one oxygen and two hydrogens, right? According to the periodic table, since oxygen's in group 16, how many valence electrons would oxygen have? Six. Hydrogen's in group one. How many valence electrons would hydrogen have? One. But there's two hydrogens. So that's a total of eight electrons. Do y'all see that? No, no. The total of the two together is eight. Now, I am not looking at oxygen and picking out its atomic number of eight, and that's how I know it's eight. Do you see that? That's not what I'm doing. Right? Okay, so we're good on eight. The second rule said what? Sketch the molecule. What kind of sketch would you do for water? You have to be able to come up with a sketch on your own. So what are you going to draw? Why would you put the O in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, since I only have one O and two hydrogens, it makes sense to me that the O would be in the middle. Does it to you? Okay. So sketch that. Neither. It's bent, but you're jumping way ahead, so don't don't think through that yet. Um, now, let me tell you something special about hydrogen, y'all, because now we're going to do step three. What does step three say? Um, the dots. It says satisfy the octets of all atoms bonded to the central atom. So that would mean put dots on those hydrogens. But whoa, whoa, whoa. Hydrogen can have one bond, always and forever. Hydrogen never, ever has dots on it. Okay? Hydrogen only has one proton and one electron. I never put more than one bond on a hydrogen. I never, ever put dots on a hydrogen. Promise me that you will never do that. If you do it, oh, I'm going to be so mad at you. Never put dots on the hydrogen, never put more than one bond. So you know what? When we get to step three here, put, make the hydrogens have an octet, we don't do anything because it's hydrogen. So what does step four say? Okay, it says put leftover electrons on the central atom. Guys, how many electrons have I used in that structure? I've used four, haven't I? Here's two in this line. There's two in that line, so that's a total of four. How many electrons did I say I had to use? Eight. How many are left over? Four. So where do I put them? I'm going to put a pair of dots here, and I'm going to put a pair of dots here. They're always coming in twos. Maurice? Do you have to draw it horizontal? No. You could have drawn... Did you draw it something like this? <laughs> no. Oh. You could have drawn it like that with a right angle. No, oh, yeah, you could do that. Because what you have is what I have. It's just you take my board and you rotate it 90 degrees right. And it's the same thing you have. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's fine. We're on step four, right? When we're finished with step four, we do those little checks. Did we use all of the electrons? Yes. Does every atom have an octet? Well, hydrogen doesn't, but it's not supposed to. Hydrogen only has one bond. Does oxygen have an octet? Yes. Since the answer to both of those questions is yes, then I don't have to worry about step five. Hydrogen is an exception to the octet rule, always. Yes. Okay. Now, carbon dioxide. That's the next one. I've done carbon tetrachloride with you. I did water with you. Now, you guys see how you do carbon dioxide. What's the formula? Y'all should know that. All right, CO2. Y'all go through the steps. What do y'all have for your total? Step one. 16. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Y'all get 16? Does anybody need that explained? 16. Okay. Step two, did you sketch it? Yeah. Okay, y'all put a C in the middle. You did something like that. Did anybody do anything different and wants me to look? Because it could be different and still be right. If you bent it, that's fine. You did like a right angle on it? Yeah, that's fine. Anybody? Okay, what'd you do for step three? Right now, each O has two electrons. But step three says I want all the O's to have eight. That means I've got to come up with six more. So did you do this for step three? Okay. What does step four say? Put all the leftover ones on the seat. Put, put leftover ones on the C. How many have I used right now? I've used 16. I've used all 16. I have none left to put on the C. Is that the Lewis structure? Uh-uh. I've used all 16. So the qu answer to question one, did you use all of them? The answer is yes. But question two says, does everything have an octet? And the answer to that is no, because the oxygen has an octet, doesn't it? And this oxygen has an octet. But carbon only has four. So since the answer to one of those questions is no, that means I have to fix it. I can't just say I'm, I'm finished. How am I going to fix it? Well, some people would say, well, carbon needs an octet. So what if I just do this? Okay, now carbon has an octet, doesn't it? But what's wrong with that? Now I've used 20 electrons not 16. So you cannot fix it that way. Do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you going to fix it? Try multiple bonds. The first thing it says, number five, if there aren't enough electrons to give the central atom an octet, A, try multiple bonds. So watch y'all. If I take what I have here and I, do you see what I just did? I drew another bond over here, right? When I draw that bond, now watch, how many electrons does that O have now? It's got 10, it can only have eight. So when I draw a bond, I've got to erase a pair of dots on that O, do you see that? Because when I erase that pair of dots, why am I erasing it? Because I took those dots and I moved them to this bond. In doing that, do you see that I kept oxygen at an octet, but I increased carbon from four to six? Do you see that? Okay, now look at the structure and look at your two questions. Did I use all the electrons? Question one. I've still used 16. Do y'all see that? You count them up? Question two, does everything have an octet? No, I'm still short on the carbon. Do you see that? The oxygens are fine. This oxygen's got eight. This one still has eight, but carbon only has six. How am I going to fix that? Okay, can I repeat what I just did on the left side of it? Repeat that on the right? Okay. Draw the bond. When I draw a bond, I've got to take these away. Now check it. Number one, did I use... 16 electrons. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does everything have an octet? Yes. Yes. Ta-da. That's the Lewis structure for CO2. Okay? That's the next one I want y'all to do. If I say draw the Lewis structure for nitrogen, what's the formula for that? It's N2, isn't it? How many electrons did y'all come up with for nitrogen? Ten. Ten, right? Nitrogen's in group 15, so it has five valence. 
but there's two nitrogens, so that's 10. Agreed? Then you had to sketch it. N bond N. That's your sketch. Any questions on how I got to that point? Okay, guys, what'd y'all do? For step three, did you put the dots on the nitrogen? Did y'all do this? Because step three says make all the atoms have an octet, doesn't it? This one doesn't have a central atom. But, but that's too many, isn't it? That's 14. I can only use 10. So can I just erase them? How many electrons is that? That's 10. But even though it's 10 electrons, does each nitrogen have an octet? No. How am I going to fix that? You're going to draw bonds in the middle. Okay. Number five says if there aren't enough electrons to give them an octet, try multiple bonds. So I just added another line between the nitrogens. What did that do? Okay, now I've got too many electrons. So what would you do to fix that? Erase another set. You would erase one set? You would erase from each one? But now what? Okay, hey, let me point something out. If you, you don't leave them where there's only a single dot by itself. Okay? What'd y'all say? Add a third bond to the middle of it. Add another line there. But that there's like six yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Plus two is eight on each mm -hmm. side. How many electrons has that structure now used? Ten. 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 That's good with that number. Do both nitrogens have an octet? Yeah. Yes. Do you see the answer to both those questions is yes now? Okay.